And Justin here in this lesson today we are checking out snow by the red hot chili peppers pretty funky little riff this one a little bit tricky but it's basically one technique and once you get that technique right you shouldn't find it too difficult although playing the whole song along is a real exercise in stamina because this riff happens kind of again and again and again um, even though this is officially a riff lesson, I am going to show you the chords after we've gone through the main riff as well, because that way you can play the whole song and the chordy bit's kind of interesting too. So uh, let's get started and get to a close up. Okay, so as you can see, the pattern is really similar. I've done quite a bit of research on this, so I'm pretty confident I know what the fingerings are that uh, John uses when he's playing this. And we're starting off with this little A minor chord. Um, unusually, you, I guess the regular way to play it would be you know, something along these lines, but he's using here second finger, this is the sixth fret of the fifth string, third finger underneath, sixth fret of the fourth string, and first finger on the fourth fret of the third string. And the basic pattern here, is fifth string, fourth string, third string, back to fourth string. Then we're picking this first finger, hammering the third finger down in the sixth fret and flicking it off. It's a very quick hammer on flick off. Definitely worth practicing that by itself. If I, my advice would be to try and get that one riff down first, so practice. As much as you need to, to really kind of... And you can see it's quite kind of comfortable after a bit. Now, notice as well that the fingers are a bit of an angle here. It's really important. If you try and play too square like this... One, the, I mean, this fingering is pretty uncomfortable. You'd want to do that fingering if you were insisting on playing with kind of the fingers aligned with the frets. But as well, it makes the flick off difficult when you play like that, especially on this second chord here. It really wants to be, it's only a subtle difference. That's straight, that's at an angle. But getting from there to there suddenly makes a big difference. That's the first chord, it's the A flat minor. Then little finger. It's exactly the same, but instead of having second finger on the sixth fret of the fifth string, it's replaced with the little finger down at the seventh fret of the fifth string. So, but all the rest is the same. Then the whole thing moves over a string onto the thickest three strings. And then the whole shape moves up two frets and back to the fifth string kind of root. Those of you probably recognize this is a, um, this kind of shape when using a little finger. It's starting off with uh, the A flat minor, then it's going to E, then to B, to F sharp. Now this last one, I'm pretty sure I've seen John play it with this finger. I don't know why he seems to be using third finger, second finger, first finger. Just on that one chord. Doesn't really make sense to me, and I prefer to play it like that, so it's consistent. So you've got that. Does mean the jump's a little difficult, but compared to doing his one, where these are the same, so suddenly jumping to that, Seems a little bit weird. I don't know why, maybe it's better, for, if it's better for you, do it that way, you know? It's better for me using my little finger and third finger. And that's basically the riff. Uh, we got 
got this one little bit here at the end. Yeah. So it's it, essentially it's the same picking pattern again. We've just got six string, four, four. This is uh, uh, yeah, thicker string, fifth string, fourth string, fifth string. Then a hammer on here, four, six, four on the fourth string, and then fifth string, fourth string. He does that every second time. This is really an F sharp uh, major chord with an A sharp basis. This sound or this. Okay, let me play through the whole thing for you real slow. guys are going to ask about the picking so let's have a look at that quickly before we get to the chords. The alternate picking is very very important with this riff so that I'm just starting off with that first riff because it's the same all the way through we've got down up down up down down up down up down up down down up now making sure that you recognize that we've got the down pick hammer on flick off and then down up on the next bit it keeps your hand going consistently. If I do it over and over. You can see that I'm going down. <laughs> and when I'm doing the hammer on flick off, my hand is moving up, but I'm not playing anything. Okay, as promised, let's have a look at the chords that are being played as well, so you can actually play the whole tune. This starting off with a bit of an E chord. Very, very Chili Peppers way of doing it too. So we've got the first finger there on the seventh fret of the fifth string. The tip of the first finger is muting the thicker string, so we're not going to hear the sixth string at all. And the first finger is also muting all of the rest of the strings. Little finger is down on the ninth fret of the second string. So we're starting off there with the E. Moving it up two frets to F sharp. And then moving up, so first finger is in the 11th fret and little finger is in the 12th fret. This is an E first inversion or an E with a G sharp bass. the pattern there, down, down, up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down. You can get a few extra little notes in there if you want, but that's the main thing that you want to be thinking about there. Now after that it goes into another bit of chords playing, which is starting off with a B chord, played classic kind of uh, John style there, like uh, kind of Hendrixy. Uh, we're playing it to B chord, first finger barring the two notes at the seventh fret, second finger on the eighth fret, third string, third finger. I don't, I'm not sure if he's using the third finger actually to play the note or if he's just muting it, but it's worth putting it there anyway. And that will be the ninth fret of the fourth string, thumb reaching over to play the B note at the thicker string. The fifth string is muted or played by the third finger on depending on uh, what you're into doing. That's the first chord. The next chord we've got is an F sharp chord with an A sharp bass, the same as the one we finished the, but the kind of the big big version of it if you like. So we've got thumb on the sixth fret, then we've got here eighth fret six seven six. 
That's sixth fret in case I just said that was eighth fret. I think I did. So that's sixth fret. And then it goes to a very, very funky little chord, um, which is a, a C sharp minor nine chord, which is little finger on the 11th fret, first finger barring the ninth fret uh, on strings two and three, and third finger playing the 11th fret on the fourth string. And I don't know if he's playing the bass note or not. I think he probably is, knowing him. Uh, very cool sounding chord. So there you go. There. enjoy playing snow. As I mentioned in the intro, it's a bit of an endurance test this one. Once you get the technique right, it's not hard, but it is hard to keep it going for the whole tune. Luckily for us, the kind of the chord parts are a bit of a rest. You don't have to move your fingers around too much. So that's during that period, don't be pressing too hard while you're playing those chords. Let your hand relax a little bit and get ready for the next time that you have to play the riff over and over again. Um, have fun with that and I'll see you for another riff lesson or lick or something very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.